Do you know how a heavy aircraft gets lifted into the air? The wings of the aircraft are given a particular shape called the aerofoil shape. The lifting of the aircraft can be explained by the Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle states that when air pressure decreases, the velocity increases and when air pressure increases, the velocity decreases. Air flow is divided into two parts, ABC and DEF. The ABC path is bigger, hence the air pressure decreases to increase the velocity to reach the end point. DEF path is shorter, so the air pressure increases, the velocity decreases to reach the end point. Both paths are covered in the same time. This helps the aircraft to rise. Along with the shape of the wings, there are also flaps attached to create the right air pressure to help the aircraft fly. You can also make a straw fountain. Take a water in a plastic cup. You can add few crystals of KMnO4 to it. Mix it well. What is the color of water? Pink. Hold a straw upright in it. Hold another straw perpendicular to the first straw so that its one end is very near to the first straw. Blow hard through the second straw. What do you observe? We see a fountain of water coming out from the first straw. Blow more forcefully and observe. The fountain goes higher when you blow more forcefully. This also can be explained by Bernoulli's principle. When you blow through the second straw, the air from straw 1 is pushed away. The pressure at straw 1's open end reduces. When this pressure becomes less than the atmospheric pressure, the water in the cup rises up to equalize the pressure. Pressure at the base of straw 1 is higher and at the top of straw 1 is lower. Hence, the liquid moves from pressure at higher level to the pressure at lower level. This appears fountain from straw 1. What will happen if all the air surrounding us is removed? If there was no air on the earth, the average temperature of the earth's surface will be very less. The sun gives us energy. So, the earth receives this energy from the sun. This energy is reflected by the earth in form of heat. The components of air, water vapor, carbon dioxide absorb some part of this reflected heat and pass it on to other constituents. This helps in keeping the earth's surface warm and prevents the earth from becoming very cold. Thus, air in the atmosphere helps in temperature regulation making earth a suitable planet for the living world. You can hear the whistle of a distant train clearly in the winter mornings than in the summer mornings. Why? In winter, as the temperature is less compared to the summer, the molecules of air are closer. And we say that air has more density in the winter morning than in summer mornings. Sound requires a material medium for it to propagate. Denser the medium, the better is the propagation. Hence, we can hear the whistle of the train in winter morning than in the summer morning clearly. So, what do we conclude? Sound requires a material medium to propagate. In the above case, the air acts as the medium of propagation for sound. Do you know why the sky looks blue? The sky looks blue due to a phenomenon called the scattering of light. Though sunlight is made up of seven colors, the blue light gets scattered the most. That is, the particles of air spread the light falling on it in all different directions, which is called the scattering of light. Summary We learned that Bernoulli's principle and aerofoil shape of the wings is used for lifting an aircraft into air. Air in the atmosphere helps in temperature regulation and respiration making it a suitable planet for the living world. Now, answer the following question. Which parts of wings 
upper or lower in an aircraft is the air moving faster.